the O'Connell Center, and uh, so far from what I've seen, Lloyd, the Gator team really has a lot of fun with what they do. Well, for Florida, it's about easing the pressure by having fun and letting their hard work work for them. And it's created a loose atmosphere here in Gainesville. Um, I think we're just uh, ready to go out there and like showing off our routines. Um, we know we can do it now. We know that we have the skills. So I think we're ready to really perform and just have fun out there. She pretty much tells us to be aggressive and, and to trust each other on the event and, and to just concentrate on ourselves and, and just have fun. She always says to have fun and that's the most important thing because if we have fun then we will perform better. And while the Gators can be loose as they are ahead, maybe the pressure is a little bit on LSU as they head towards this team lineup. Well, for LSU, they always talk about staying in the purple zone, just focusing on their team and their job. Now on beam, last time out, LSU had all six athletes set season highs. They need an effort like that to make up some ground here. Well, they've got a great effort tonight out of Susan Jackson, who leads the all-around after three rotations. She set or matched career highs in all of her first three events starting with a fantastic bar team, an explosive vault that got a perfect 10 from one of the judges. A very entertaining and difficult floor team here. I think her most nervous moment of the night when she had to do some interviews with us, gymnastics-wise, she's super confident today. Well, she's getting better every weekend she competes. Last weekend, she surpassed a career high for the all-around with a score of 39.25 against West Virginia and Auburn. A chance to better that here today. Double series, back hands free, layout two foot. She injured herself last year, injured her ankle, and that kept her out of many competitions. Really starting to get back on a roll this year. Now she was missing a routine from Lauren Klein, again here on the balance beam. And she's usually very solid on the beam. Fill that gap here. Beautiful punch front. A little extra time before her dismount. More focus. Trying to gain the strength and energy to do a difficult double back. Stumbles on the landing. Got a two tenth deduction there. Solid throughout the routine, a little difficulty on this big E-level dismount. Double back, she almost hyperextends her knees and pushes her hips back on the landing, which can be very dangerous, actually. She holds on to a couple tenth deduction for the steps. But overall, a nice night for Susan Jackson as she finishes with a 9.750. As we look at the floor lineup for the Florida Gators. Watching Florida in warm-up, I was so impressed with their depth and difficulty of their tumbling. They've also worked with a new choreographer, Jeremy Miranda, this year. So we're going to see a little bit of a different style in their choreography. Nicola Willis will begin for the Gators on floor. It's just her fourth floor appearance of the season. This is a very important time as you're trying to tweak that lineup and get everything set for where you want it to be at SECs and, of course, NCAAs down the road. Absolutely. It's so important to finally solidify that lineup because then the athletes know what to expect every weekend. They know the events that they are needed on and will be competing on. Opening pass, a double layout, holds it in bounds. Every gymnast from Florida mounts with an E-level skill, which is the most difficult level in college gymnastics. Tumbling pass, it's a combination of a front through to a double back. Another strong landing. Great music choice. It's fun, it's energetic. Of course, the teammates love it. Jamming on the sidelines. It's really engaging, it pulls you into the routine. Final tumbling pass, a double pike. Most impressive routine, fabulous difficulty, and very entertaining on the dance choreography as well. Here's a look at that opening pass, the double layout, and E-level skill. She gets two tenths of bonus. The athletes are looking for at least five tenths. 
of bonus from combination and difficult skills like that in order to get that coveted 10-0 start value. She matches a season best of 9.925. Christy Esposito, the senior from Slidell, Louisiana, up next. She's a three-time All-American on the balance beam. LSU has a very tough task at hand. Trying to make up some ground lost from their floor exercise routines. Two back handsprings to a layout, pretty solid. Hard full turn, and she does it in combination to a gainer layout. Now Christy started her career at Nebraska, but soon she really wanted to be back home near Slidell, Louisiana, so she came back to LSU, was forced to sit out a year. She is a senior with a lot of experience, and that helps on the balance beam. And I'm sure Dee Dee Bro is glad to have her. Absolutely. She's proven over and over again that she can hit when it counts on this event. Nice front aerial. Fidgety with her feet through this portion of the routine into the dismount. Another difficult round off double back dismount. Good attention to the landing. Really trying to hold on to every tenth they can get right now for LSU. There's a look at that difficult round off double back again. The round off is so crucial to keep it square and to finish it at the right angle to pop that double back up into the air. And a 9.875 for Christy Esposito. And on the floor now, Corey Harton. You know, she retired her music that brought her so much success in her first two years. And we'll see after the, the new music will play for you here in 2008. Opening with a front double twist. Most of these athletes usually only hold on to their routine for one, possibly two years. But it's time to change it up a little. And she's already won two floor titles. Like on balance beam, we see some of that grace and originality. Second doubling pass is a triple full. The less powerful athletes tend to lean towards those twisting skills versus the double rotating skills like the double layout that we saw in the last routine. And known for her grace and flexibility, she has a strong background in ballet. It was taught to her by her first coach. breath before her final tumbling pass. Whip to an immediate double full. Almost a little short on the landing, but she pulls it out nice and clean. Again, a really gorgeous routine for Corey. Gators getting better by the routine. We've already seen a number of career highs tonight on the second tumbling pass. Take a look at where the feet land. The judges want to see all three twists fully completed. She does a pretty good job here. Very minimum of deductions. Not a career high, but a season best. 